Everybody and their mama is talking about how uh, the Vikings are going to have a really good wide receiver room. And, and yes, you got Justin Jefferson, the defending, uh, what was it, offensive player of the year last year. Dude's a stud. Pay the man and let's be end, end done with this conversation. And then, yes, you drafted Jordan Addison in the first round this year. Uh, you know, he's going to be a stud coming up out of USC. I think he's the perfect complement to Justin Jefferson being that dude. But what if I told you, outside of also KJ Osborne, who, by the way, in year, th- uh, what is this, year four, year three, whatever, uh, he's going to have a, another huge year for the Vikings and I it's it's a contract year he's going to be that guy that gets the opportunity and all that uh he's been the security blanket for Kirk Cousins over the last couple of years yes he's an absolute stud contract year the question we have to ask ourselves is are they going to be able to pay him too I really don't know I feel like he's probably going to be uh having a really good year this year uh for the Vikings and then going into free agency but the wide receiver that nobody is talking about and it's really really upsetting me is Jalen Naylor. I think he's going to be an absolute stud for the Vikings. I think he's going to be, honestly, he could be end up being their secret weapon. Now, what I mean by that is, is yes, everybody's going to sell out to stop Justin Jefferson. Everybody's going to have their attention on guys like Jordan Addison and TJ Hawkinson and, you know, to a degree, KJ Osborne because he's had a good couple of years, but nobody's thinking about this guy. Like, he's going to have the element of surprise. He's going to have a lot of things going for him. Uh, And the dude is really just a a speedster. So, targeted 13 times last year, had nine catches for 179 yards, and a touchdown and uh yes there was a reason uh you know that he was a guy that a lot of people really wanted coming out of the draft so you know and i honestly think that uh, he's not going to have you know the biggest impact uh, again he's probably going to only get 20 to 30 targets a game i don't think he's going to be a guy uh that comes out and gets you know what is it uh, you know 40 catches next year but uh you know i think that you know there's a reason that guys like keenan mccardle stood on the table for this guy because he's going to be a guy that you really have to watch you really have to keep your eye on because you know speed does kill especially in the NFL and you are not treating every player with respect uh, because everybody's there for a reason. Everybody's a stud and uh, and with a guy like Jalen Naylor, he is no exception. I really feel like he could be a guy that does take over for KJ Osborne uh, you know, for being that guy in the middle maybe potentially being a security blanket because you know Jordan Addison and uh, Justin Jefferson and TJ Hawkinson those are the big three. I don't think we're going to debate that but after a guy like KJ Osborne leaves I think there's going to be a hole that needs to fill and I think that Jalen Naylor, Naylor excuse me, with his speed, uh, the way that he catches the football his playmaking ability i think he could be that dude for the vikings and really be a secret weapon for him moving forward uh to be able to not only um you know catch the ball but be a guy that you know really stretches the field over the top of the defense Uh, but let us know what you guys think and let us know uh in in the comment section down below leave a like that's what helps people find the show uh thank you guys so much for everything uh but at the end of the day let us know what you guys think about Jalen naylor potentially being the viking the vikings secret weapon at wide receiver